Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to our third episode in this series on C programming. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about data types in C programming. We will learn about data types available and how to use them. Let's get started. A data type specifies the type of data that a variable can hold in programming. C programming supports the following basic data types. Int, double, float, car. These are the four basic types which are commonly used in C programming. For example, if we declare a variable height of type int, in this example, height is the variable and int is the data type. The data type determines two things. One, the type of variable, hence the int type for the variable height means that it can only accept integer values. Two, the size of the variable. Here, int can store up to four bytes. Now, let's take an example. This block of code contains two variables, height and length. Height is a double variable and length is a float variable. So when we run our program, it is going to print out the output based on the specifier we used. And this is what we refer to as the format specifier. So now, let us look at a few examples. We will start with doubles and floats. It is preferable to use double to store your decimal values. The simple reason is that it stores decimals with more precision. And that is how you use doubles and floats in C programming. Here is another example and its output. We can find the amount of storage required for each of these data types in C programming by using the size of operator. This built-in operator gives the requirements for a particular data type.
For example, when we run this block of code, the output will display the corresponding size of each data type in bytes. The printf statements we see in this block of code have two arguments. One, the output string with a format specifier. And two, the next argument returns the size of value. At the end of the execution, the program will replace the percent %ld, that is, the long decimal, with the value in the second argument. So guys, that is it for data types in C programming. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.